Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to solve this given equation that involves more than one radicals and eventually we're going to check our answer for any extraneous solution. The very first thing what we're going to do is we want to isolate one of the radicals. So to do that one I want you to move this radical on the right hand side. So this way we're going to be left with only one radical on the left hand side equal to 2 and this positive radical become negative square root of x minus 1. The next thing what I want you to do is I want you to get rid of this square root by taking the square on both sides. So far so good. Now this square and square root they undo each other we end up with 3x minus 5 equals to we're going to be using this fact a minus b squared is going to become 4 minus 2 times 2 times square root of x minus 1 and then plus square root of x minus 1 square and this is the fact that we use you can look at it on, the, on the right hand side let's go ahead and now simplify things out so 3x minus 5 equal to 4 minus 2 times 2 is 4 times square root of x minus 1 and here square and square root they undo each other we ended up with x minus 1 so far so good Let's combine the like terms on the right hand side. 4 minus 1 is 3 minus 4 square root of x minus 1 plus x and the left hand side is 3x minus 5. Now the next thing what we want to do is I want you to isolate this part square root part. So I want you to just simply move 3 on the other side and x on the other side as well so this is what we're going to have 3x minus 5 is already there when you move 3 on the other side become negative 3 and when you move x on the other side become negative x so we ended up 4 times square root of x minus 1 so far so good so let's combine the like terms on this side so that's going to become 3x minus x becomes 2x minus 8 equal to negative 4 times square root of x minus 1. Now one thing just look at it that 2 each term is divisible by 2. So I can divide each and every one by 2 to make things simplified. So this is going to be a 1x minus 4 equal to negative 2 times square root of x minus 1. Now the next step is I want you to get rid of this square root. So I want to take the square on this side and I want you to take the square root uh, square on this side as well. So this x minus 4 square is x square minus 8x plus 16 equal to on this side negative 2 square become 4 times the square and square root they undo each other we got x minus 1. So one thing just look at this the left hand side we use this fact on the right hand side. I explain it step by step. So let's go ahead and now distribute over here 4 with both of them so that's going to become 4x minus 4 and on the left hand side is already x square minus 8x plus 16. Now what I want you to do is I want you to move everything on the left hand side. So once we move everything on the left hand side so we already have a x square minus 8x plus 16 this 4x become negative 4x and negative 4 become positive 4 when we move them on the left hand side and we ended up with 0 on the right hand side. Let's combine the like terms x square 
minus 8x and minus 4x becomes minus 12x and plus 20 equal to 0. So this is a quadratic equation that can be easily factored out. So the possible factors are going to be x minus 2 and x minus 10. Now we're going to split them up. x minus 2 equal to 0 and x minus 10 equal to 0. That means x equal to 2 is one of our solutions and x equal to 10 is another solution. Now the next step, we want to check our answers for any extraneous solution. Let's look at one of the solution was x equal to 2. Plug it in and over here, wherever you see x, plug it in, replace it by x. So this is our original equation. So this becomes 3 times 2 minus 5 plus 2 minus 1. My question is, is it equal to 2 on the right hand side? So let's simplify 6 minus 5 with the square root plus square root of 1. So that's going to give you square root of 1 plus square root of 1, which is equal to 1 plus 1. And on the right hand side was 2, isn't it? Is 2 equal to 2? Question mark. Yes, it is. That means our statement is true. Thus, x equal to 2 is our solution. And finally, we want to check our answer, which uh, the other answer was x equal to 10 for any extra, extraneous solution as well. So wherever you see x in the original equation, replace it by 10 and see what happens. So let's go ahead and do that one. So we have a 3 times 10 minus 5 plus, and then once again, 10 minus 1. My question is, it is it left hand side equal to the right hand side? Let's simplify out. So we have a 10 times 3 is 30 minus 5 plus 10 minus 1 is 9. That's going to give you 25 plus square root of 9. So that's going to give you 5 plus 3. My question mark equals to equal to 2. So on the left hand side turns out to be 2 and the right hand side is 2. Is this statement true? No, this is not. This statement is false. So that means that x equals to 10 is an extraneous solution. Final conclusion is that x equals to 2 is our only solution. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.